Texas Instruments MSP430 General Purpose Input Output Resistor. So depends upon family of MSP430 and version of MSP430. The number of ports varies from P1, P2 up to P10. The first resistor related to this port is port select resistor px cell resistor so px cell resistor select the function of port pin to use port pin as a general purpose gpio this px cell bit of that particular pin is always zero so to use port pins as a gpio the content we have to store in all select resistor as a 0x00 and by default 0x00 is stored in select resistor so no need to initialize select resistor if you want to use port pin as a general purpose port pins for some special functions we have to initialize this resistor the next resistor is direction resistor pxdir so for each port one resistor is there for example for port 1 p1 dir resistor is available for port 2 p2 dir resistor is available likewise for P10, port 10, P10 DIR resistor is available. Now if you set the particular bit of port pin as logic 1, that means that port pin we want to use as a output port pin. And when we set 0 for particular port bit, then we are using that port pin as an input port pin. For example, suppose I want to use P1.0 as output port pin. Then I can initialize P1 DIR resistor with value 0x01. So this one is set for P1.0 and since one bit is used here, the port pin is selected as a output port pin. After selecting port pin as the input or output port pin, we can read or write a data at port pin. So first, we see the resistor which is used to write a data at port pin. The resistor used to write data at port pin is PX out resistor. So again for each port, one resistor is available, for example P1 out for port 1, P2 out for port 2, likewise P10 out for port 10. If we want to write logic 1 at port pin, then we have to set logic 1 for that particular port pin. To write a 0, use 0. For example, suppose we want to send a data at P1.0 as logic 1. So we will initialize P1 out resistor which is associated with port 1 that is, is equal to 0x01. So in P1 out resistor we have set this bit P1.0 bit as 1. So 1 will be written at this port pin. If we want to send logic 0 at this particular port pin, then we will write data as 00. To read data from port, we have to use 3 resistor. So initially, if port pin is in floating condition, that means if pull out or pull down resistors are not connected 
to port pin any port pin for example p1.0 then this pin will be in floating condition and we cannot read a data properly so for that internally pull up and pull down registers are available in msp430 for example to use a pull up register this pin is connected to vcc and we can use this configuration that means when switch is closed this pin will be connected to ground and initially it will connected to vcc through this pull up register this is for pull up configuration if we want to use pull up configuration at any port pin then initially pin will be connected to ground and with the help of input switch we can connect it to vcc so initially pin will be connected to logic 0 and when user presses this switch it will be connected to logic 1 for example suppose it is p1.0 then in pull up configuration initially it will pin will be at logic 1 so in pull down configuration pin will be at logic 0 so this is pull down configuration in msp430 user can select pull up or pull down configuration that is using register pxren again one register is available for one port so p1ren for port 1 P2 REN for port 2 like that. If a particular bit is one for that port, then pull up pull down configuration is enabled. If bit is zero, then pull up pull down configuration is disabled. Now suppose we want to use pull up pull down configuration for P1.0. Since we want to use P1.0 as an input port pin, then we have to initialize P1 REN register with value 0x01. So one indicate this configuration is enabled for P1.0. So this is just to enable the configuration. Now to select a particular configuration, pull up. or pull down we have to use register px out if one is set for particular bit then pull up configuration is used and if zero is used for particular bit then pull down configuration is selected so user has a choice to select pull up or pull down configuration first we have to initialize this configuration and then select a particular configuration suppose for p1.0 we want to use pull up configuration then we have to initialize px out register immediately after initializing p1 ren register with value 0x01 so one indicates we have selected pull up configuration for this after initializing pull up pull down configuration we can read data from input port pin and register used for that is pxe i register used for that is px in so again one register for one port like p1 in p2 in so on so we can read a data if we want to read data from p1 port then we can directly write this register p1 in and we can store this data which we have read, read from this port in any variable like suppose i use variable value then we can write value is equal to p1 in so whatever data is available on this port p1 that will be now available in value variable so these are the registers which are generally used as a gpio uh, configuration of port pins